Hello guys and once again welcome back to our YouTube channel and today I'm with An Miss Anesu Zingirai, a partner rabbit farmer here in Zimbabwe. So Miss Anesu is a rabbit farmer here in Glendale, Zimbabwe. So with Miss uh, Mr. Anesu rabbit, actually we have over 150 rabbits and he has been doing this for quite some time. And so we are here to show you guys people who are actually doing this project so that you can learn more from people who are actually in the field. So let's get started. So Mr. Anesu, the first question actually I want to ask you is how did you get this idea of starting rabbit farming? Where actually did you get these things? Where did the idea come from? Alright. Uh, rabbit farming. Yes. Taka wona kuti tine land yakakura. Saka pa land taka swaga kuti ndeyipi project yatinga ada kuita isusu. Senzire kuti atinga ngojari maruva ya DS kana kungo Tarisa land ya kango kura kuda iso nubata, garapa nubata, funga oti, it's better kuchaka project ya kuita, nubata kono oti, rabbit, iri nani kuita project ipi, pi iyo ii, e, saka ndopa taka garapa nubata, funga kuita iyo ii, noti, chaka ita kuti, ti, ti funga kudaro futi, taka onoti, haidi spesi ya kakura, and the project ya kuti unokpani sakurara hope za unoda usi na chino kumuta usi kukufundukira kuti maybe kwa dai kwa dai yeah. 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 yeah that's very true because if you are to compare rabbit farming actually to broiler farming with broilers you need to be checking them constantly in the morning water in the after in the afternoon you have to check them the temperature everything in the evening in the, even in the middle of the night with broiler farming you have to be they you have to be present yeah, yeah. but with rabbits yeah, yeah, yeah. it's something that it doesn't require too much of your time yeah, yeah that's something that the end with the rabbit farming is actually a good project because i love the fact that you can do your job you can have a nine to five job yeah and also be a rabbit farmer even yeah. with big a, a lot of cages actually you can yeah. still manage yeah those two things yeah so so you have heard guys how mr anis chose to start rabbit farming because it doesn't require too much space so another thing actually was that when people are when people want to start rabbit farming they are the, you know most people actually in zimbabwe they do yeah. backyard farming they yeah. are they are not like you know we actually doing it commercially yeah. they just do backyard farming maybe for meat for their family yeah. but till you started commercially people actually need to know the cost of starting these things because when someone wants to start rabbit farming you need to know the cost of the cages the, yeah. you know, even this shade, most people they don't have these shades in the backyards. They yeah. just have a small cage, but yeah. these shades they don't have these shades. So, when we come to the cost, let's start with the cages actually. How much does does this these cages cost? Each cage was I I understand that it they they work in pairs, right? Yeah. We have the breeders' cage, yeah. and then there is the winners' cage with, yeah. with the one that the kids are living to. They are ready for market, right? Yeah. So how much does each one one cage actually? How much does it cost? Yeah, one cage in it's uh, 450. 450? Yeah. Yes. Uh, because, uh, but it's also Yes. Um, now, and this is what I'm going to tell you. No, it's 405. Now, when you bought these cages, actually, yeah. they were 450, right? Yeah. But right now, I, I acquired, I think, yesterday, yeah. the day before yesterday, yeah. they were going for 405, $405, dollars, the, 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 both the, the improved ones. Okay. They are going for four hundred and five dollars. So they are from four fifty. Yeah. They've now they are now at four zero five. So the cage is four zero five dollars for someone yeah. who wants to start rabbit farming. Yeah. Actually, you know, even we are telling we are we are talking about the price of these cages. The yeah. Another important thing actually that you need to talk about where to get these cages because people actually you know we are talking about the price, but yeah. you no know, where to get these cages. You know, where, tell people where where you you know where you started you, you got these cages. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, um, my cages are uh, at Kawana White Meat Company. White Meat Company. Who pay for deer. Pay for deer. Yeah. You, so, as you have heard from the man himself, the cages like this actually, even right now, they even have improved versions of these cages. Yeah. So, it's a company here in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. named the White Meat Company. Near in found in Belvedere, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is where these cages are, are. You can this is where you can find these cages, and they are going for four hundred and five dollars. Yeah. These cages. So once you have these cages, actually, you need the rabbits, obviously. So yeah. how, how much does the the rabbits cost? How much are they going for? Yeah, pa ma rabbits edu isus tinoti hadzi tinaita 
ten dollars. Ten no when when you are no like when you are getting them from the white middle let's say I want to start right. Yeah. I'm getting them from there. How much do I buy them? The cost of getting them from the white meat company, these rabbits, like I want to, to be a breed. How much are they? I don't You don't know. Yeah. Actually, the last time I checked, they were, isn't it is $20 per rabbit? Yes. It's, so it's, was each cage, actually, each breeder's, was, as I have said, they're, they're working two pairs, right? Yeah. We have the, the breeder's cage and the winner's cage. The, breed, the breeder's cage can hold 11, right? Yeah. 11 rabbits. Uh, it's 12, 12 rabbits, right? Yeah. 11 doors and yeah. one bag. Yeah. Each, each each one costing twenty dollars. Then if you are to do 12, 20 by twelve, then it's, it comes to nearly two twenty. So the twelve will be going for two twenty. Yeah. yeah, I I think the, the, these are the, the prices. Then the cage four zero five. Yeah. Then you start your project. Yeah. So actually for the cages you need two cages, right? The breeder's cage yeah. and then the winner's cage. So yeah. for the cages you need two to start, right? Yeah. So which, which which makes it eight hundred and ten yeah. for the two cages, yeah. and then. For the rabbit, just to I mean, nearly two twenty to thirty, I think. Then you have started. So these are the prices. Oh, and, and the shade actually, because this shade is, is very important, right? So what are the, like the advantage of the of the shade having a shade for for the, for these rabbits? Yeah. You know, it kapa kui is a shade. Good, I saw this na kuvaka kunzo ku inawe kuti tsurozinoda mepo yaka wand. Okay. Saka uka vaka pakaita madina amupindi mepo yaka wanda. So zino chwa. Saka chaka nakira keji ndi chekuti futi chumweja chonjuti haubudi sima wari yaka wanda. Like shedi no maybe uka ngubata 300 watu misa shedi. Only 300 dollars in yeah. your shedi. Yeah. Okay. And another pama, pama keji si aya. Yes. Evan, uh, Wagawanda, Vanga, Venem, Ubunzo, Guti, why Aji, Dura, why Aji, that's exactly in a way, Guti, Ah, Ah, Ninkiri, Guti, was wet yet, you know, you know, Korodajin, yes, but I am Manja Adar, Adar, and eh, you know, yeah, is it still, oh no, it's still, but they painted, this one is painted, right? Yeah. Yes. Saka anu no last time kwa yaga reba makeji saa. Asi ya na nene haya kungoti wakazira wega ka endi kukata isa kuti haka ngo endi wa nene wete tsuro marata ajo hakuto jiki ika fenzi ya chia kuti ya ya kuto pera bati haya adaro. Okay, but even if boys, I, there are other people, their cages actually they are made of wood. Of yeah. which rapid urine and wood. Yeah. I, they, they will, in a short period of time yeah. they will be gone. But yeah. with these ones, they will last for a long time. Boys, how, how many years have you, have you been doing this? When did you start rabbit farming? Last, uh, last year. Last year, so you have a year yeah. doing this. Yeah. So guys, this man is one year of doing this. Another thing, actually, one important thing about this shade, Mr. Anes, actually, I remember last year when we were talking, you, you had an incident, actually, when you lost 150 rabbits died, yeah. right? Yeah. 150 in this rabbit, 150 yeah. rabbits died. So you need to make sure you have proper security around yeah. your rabbit yeah. so, so to prevent stray animals from getting into rabbit because if a dog gets in here it can mm. destroy everything yeah suppose imagine losing 150 rabbits because if you have to do the math if you have 150 rabbits and you on a, on an average each, each rabbit can can be going for eight dollars right if if you have to multiply 150 actually by eight dollars that's that's a lot of money so you they lost nearly thousand dollars just from yeah. you know having and proper Surrounding, so if you can see, we have you know, if, if you have to show people around, there are these. I is it the reason why you you place you know, we have this, this two, this two place, yeah, are, are they for pre to prevent things from getting, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, as you can see, we have these things for security. And another thing I, I like in this rubbish is you can see, we have those sensors. Can you show, you know, we have these sensors, you know. Yeah. Mr. Anes was saying this one actually is for security. This yeah. one is connected. You, you said you connect to a camera, right? Yeah. If someone enters, actually, this yeah. thing start beeping. Yeah. So, you know, when someone enters, it's night to be to be specific. So you need these things just for yeah. security and make sure your your shade is secure. Yeah. As as you can see, as as things are in here. So, Mr. Anes, we've we've told people, you know, 
where to get these cages. We said the white meat kanban, right? Yeah. The cost of these cages for 05 yeah. each rabbit when you start the breeders actually. And the breeders, these rabbits we have rabbit these rabbits we have here. These uh you know they are this breed is the New Zealand white, right? Yeah. New Zealand white. New Zealand. So any advantages, you know, the New Zealand you know, they are very you know, these are very good breeds actually. most commercial rabbit farmers yeah. they prefer the, the, the New Zealand wise, you know, the New Zealand types like the New Zealand wise, yeah. the Californians. Yeah. No you, know, you know what one advantage that you can tell about the you know, tell people about this New Zealand this New Zealand why why they are so good for commercial rabbit farming. Yeah, Chakana Kira New Zealand white to Chino and Chakuti, you know, Bereka Vanavaga Wand. Okay. I know that Dampuziko Park Bereka. And I need to come at a name corn. Not Ugatarisa Gunaman, you breeds a Gawanda and Daya. Yes. In no one of Bereka Vanagana, two, three, two, three, and over now. But it's it's it. Uh, in the one of Berigawa, na thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Thirteen kids. One. One sitting. Yeah, thirteen kids. One. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, and the Kashoma with um my challenge is a good thing. Don't worry, we're going to zaf. So low death rates. Yeah. A large number. Large liters actually. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. Because if you have if you have ten. Yeah. And they give you twelve. Twelve. You have one twenty. Just yeah. from ten. Yeah. And I heard they give. You know, they give birth. A lot of times, but yeah. mm. how, how many do you breed? Let's say from January to December. How many times? You six times, eight times. How many times do you breed your rabbits? Yeah, and you know it. You can the che udaison and and eche guti isu su kajinji. Tsuro is 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 it not the rumura in in six weeks? But kajinji it no answer we met in a. Four weeks. So, pa ino zo pe zi tisa zimwe two weeks it yes. ndenge yawa ni ma uta. Yato ni ma uta kai. Uh -huh. oh. So, like, during pregnancy, like, it, the gestation period is mm. it 12, it's 12, it's, sorry, it's 28 days, right? 30 days, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, you say first two weeks of pregnancy. Yeah. Move mato yi spam kon. Ika bere ka anti zi. Yes. Well, after ya bere ka, you just wait two weeks. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, after it, it has given birth. Yeah. Ngo mira, only two weeks, then... Makuto is a footy a bag. Yeah. Makuto is a mate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. This is this one is nice. So another thing. So now for someone who is watching this video, someone who want to start rabbit farming right now, they now know the, the, the they need they now know that they need a shade to prevent you know direct sunlight and yeah. also to prevent predators from yeah. from getting inside right. Yeah. They now they now have the cages. Yeah. They know the price of the cages. Yeah. Then, then what else? The, now the rabbits actually they know the price of the rabbits and the breeds actually the New Zealand whites. We've told them the advantages of this New Zealand white large liters, gro fast growth rate. How much? And how much? How many months actually do you wait before you take this to the market? Yeah, could it this end up market? It's, it's not that three months. Three months, only three months. So yeah. They also have fast growth rate. If because if you have these the Suroma gangers, those mm. rabbits that you keep in our rural areas, those yeah. ones they can take forever to reach, you know, maybe even two kg. They yeah. don't yeah. grow very fast. But these mm. giant breeds, the New Zealand yeah. wise, the Californians, mm. these are fast growing breeds. Yeah. Another advantage is for this rabbit. So you have your shade, you have your cages, you have your your rabbits. Another thing actually, mm. you know, we are talking about breeding and all this. People need to understand where actually how do you breed your your rabbits? Where do you breed them? You know, these this, these you know these these are your nesting boxes, right? Yeah. How much are they going for? Because in this video, I actually, want people you know someone want to start mm. to have in the whole idea mm. and the prices. You know, when someone needs to have a budget, whether yeah. I need a thousand dollars to start, yeah. I need yeah. five hundred dollars to start. Yeah. How much are these ones? How much did they go for? How much did you buy them for? These nesting boxes, because as you buy them on separate, right? Yeah. How much do they do they cost? Uh, eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars each. Yeah. So, the, each cage. How many does each cage need? Like eleven. Yeah. So eleven for for each, and yeah. then each was going for eighteen dollars. Yeah. Okay. Nearly two hundred dollars, right? Yeah. So, as you have heard the price, so you need, these ones also you need to buy them. Yeah. But these ones, what, what about the, the these feeders? Hmm. Which I don't. Yeah, but this okay. Can you come close? I want to show people. You know the, the type of this, the next, both the, the one that you say is going for eighteen. Can you just 
should come 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 close so that people can so you can see you can open in here so the rabbit come close so that i want people to see so you can see the rabbit actually it comes from from its cage right as you can see we have that rabbit over there it comes from each cage and comes through this this hole and then this is where it gives birth in right yeah yeah so this this is your nesting boxes so now you have you have your shade you have your cages you have your nesting boxes what else someone for someone who want to start rabbit farming actually besides these things that you have what else that does that person need to have anything else boys if you are to see yeah the market actually boys the only thing missing here is the market because they have everything the shade the cages the rabbits the only thing missing here is the market so can you tell people actually where you sell your rabbits how you sell your rabbits yeah uh, Kajinji, Kajo market in the web, Uri Zwechin, Urukuchi Chenget. Okay. Because market are easy, a gumiri ragutin dine quaka ticket. Even Iwewe kwa Uno Gara, Uno Kwanisa Gutum Botakura Tsuro, and a Nayopa Groot Point, Kungo no Gocha, Washed Zovan, which we have just so Mahara, but Uchiva Uza would in the new it at so it's a it's a marketing strategy yeah. you're telling people. So yeah. it doesn't matter. So 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 for someone who wants to start rabbit farming, yeah. you can start rabbit farming. Let's say you, you don't have a market, right? Mm -hmm. Like somewhere where you are you are supplying. Yeah. You can actually start rabbit farming yeah. and create your own market. That is what it, you are saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you had the man go to the growth point if yeah. you have your rabbits yeah. and you are you know a lot of people actually they cry about market because I see I see a lot of comments on my channel. Mm. People will be saying there's no there's no market for rabbits. Where can I sell my rabbits? Mm. So you have had the man go somewhere, go to a growth point. Yeah. You know, go with your with your, you know, buy some rabbits. Maybe just go with three rabbits, four rabbits. Yeah. Buy some rabbits. Mm. You have some friends over there. Yeah. You enjoy, you know, you enjoy the enjoy the rabbit meat. The next time they they will call you, hey, yeah. those rabbits, we, yeah. we, want, we want more. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but right now they are not for free yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are giving you cash. Yeah. So, in another thing, actually, that I have noted, mm -hmm. selling, you know, right, you can also sell for meat, right? Yeah. And for breeders, right? Yeah. Like those who want to start rabbit farming. Yeah. The price tag, I, I, they are different, right? When you are saying, but someone, let's say someone, I come here, mm -hmm. I want a rabbit for meat. Yeah. Is it the same price when I want rabbits for for breeding for starting my own farm? Right. Eh, kana uchi tenga tsuro yekujika. Yes. Ndi no kwani saku kutenga sera seven dollars. Seven dollars. But ndi no gura irantini. Oh, so you kill the rabbit first? Yeah. And then I go, I go with the the meat only the meat. Yeah. Um, Yes, uh, because in the kakupa menu uno gona kuto no tanga kuto no kuno chengeta. Yes. yes. Okay. So unenge wandi fara. Okay. okay. Because inini nda kutenge seran a price ye e, ye murio ye nyam buguti yeah. uyende kunojika. Because one thing about people buying for meat, actually yeah. they are they are your regular customers. They will keep yeah. on coming. Because if someone <laughs> buys meat this week, yeah. there is a high probability that next week, yeah, the, the, that two rabbits they bought, they yeah. are already finished. Next yeah. week they are coming. There. So those people are your regular customers. But if I come mm. wa and I wa I want to breed. Yeah. I come only once. I yeah. buy let's may, maybe let's say five doses from you in yeah. the bag. Yeah. I won't be coming back again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I get it. So how like what? So you, so you say seven? You can sell seven eight dollars for for someone who wants meat, right? Yeah. Well, let's say for someone who wants to start breeding, how much would the live one want to carry a live rabbit home? How much would that would that be going for? Yeah, can zava zava anje zeguti mona ruda kuchenge tamanj. Zaka si ana price ya choni ne inyama. Tinenge nda kuita fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, guys, this rabbit is actually. If you are to go to other people, they will be, they will be, you know, they will be selling these rabbits at a bigger price. Because yeah. you can see someone selling, saying, I have a New Zealand wise. I am yeah. selling them for forty dollars. So. If you are somebody who's, who wants to start rabbit farming, here, so both so people can come and buy, right? If they want from you. Yeah, because Tsuro didn't to fan a good to do. But it's also so much as a one who is in the market. Yes. At his own time, he did do Because in a way, he did market. Okay, so the market is small right now. Yeah. But can a market ya kura? 
Yes. Tinoto kwa ni sakuto tika na muna kwa ya shida suro pana pa tino muzo tika na wawa uchida iri ready kubereka. Mm. 60 US. 60 US. Isati ya ready maybe 40 US. Yeah. It may be only three months. Yeah, it's mostly is both it's advisable. It's, it's mostly advisable by it that buying rabbits that are at least three months old. Yeah, the, those ones. The, those are that's a good age for of buying your, your rabbits. Yeah, so that one you can say thirty dollars, forty dollars. Yeah, when the market is both here in Zimbabwe, you know, rabbit farming mostly. Most people actually who are doing backyard farming, they are they have broilers, not yeah. rabbits. Yeah, yeah. Most people are a few people are taking rabbits seriously, mm. but. If you are to to go to broiler farming, a lot of people are farming broilers. But the rabbits, the market is too small. But three years, three four years from now, yeah, those prices you will be having ten people coming one, and you'll be selling forty dollars yeah. each rabbit, and <laughs> you'll be making a lot of money. Because if you have ten rabbits, yeah. you sell each forty dollars. That's yeah. four hundred dollars. It's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. From and if you are to check that forty dollars, you can make it from one rabbit. Because one rabbit actually it can give birth to ten. Yeah. And you sell just produce from one rabbit and get four hundred dollars. That's you know is I always tell people, my friends and everyone, that rabbit farming, you know, is going to make it's make it's even making people a lot of money. Yeah. So besides, you know, creating your own market. So here you have said you can create your own market, right? Go somewhere maybe to the stores to somewhere to a growth yeah. point. Yeah. Buy some rabbits, yeah. share with people, yeah. and so that people get a taste of rabbits. Rabbit meat is actually not that popular. Yeah. But yeah. it's increasing. Both people are loving rabbit meat because of its health benefits. It's increasing. Yeah. So with time, yeah. But the market is coming, and the market is there too. So another way, what another other ways mm. can people sell their rabbits besides, you know, locally? Mm. Let's say you said you can start your own market. Mm. How actually are you selling? Because in a year we have like 150 rabbits, right? Yeah. When you want to sell them, boys, it's hard to. Boys, the market, as you said, is slow. Yeah. How are you selling? You know, when they reach three months, say three months, right? Yeah. For them to be ready for market. When the three months come for these rabbits, mm. what are you going to do? Yeah, it's also a dodo. Also, I end this white meat command. White meat command. So this, you got the cages. They yeah. Have, most of the things in here, yeah. you get them from the white meat company. Yeah. And they are, they are your first market too. Yeah. So yeah, this is you know, this, this makes things a, a bit simple actually. Because for most people are afraid, you know, of you know, let's say taking a risk. Let's say you want to start rabbit farming, right? Yeah. You don't have a market. Yeah. Let's say I'm able to get the rabbits. Let's say you're just a local farmer, right? Yeah. I come to you, I get the rabbits. Yeah. Let's say I get 11, 11 does yeah. and one bag. I start breeding. I breed those 11 bags and they give me, let's say, 8 each. I have 88 rabbits. Yeah. It's very hard to go to the growth point and say yeah, I'm yeah. going to... to yeah. Yes, you can do it, but you know, most people are afraid of doing that. Yeah. But when you say, as you have said, they are also your first market, then it becomes a bit simpler and a bit easier for you to, to do it. So as you have heard, so actually... Another thing people need, you know, people need money out there. Yeah, they need to yeah, know yeah, yeah. when you are selling them to the to the white meat company. How mm. how much are they are they paying for the for the for the rabbits? All right, it's so tika and the satsuro the white meat company. White meat company, you know, tenga suro imechete ne kanere adi ten dollars. Ten dollars. Kana iri one no seven dollars. Seven dollars. Yeah, those are good. Because on an average. Eight fifty, almost like eight fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, which is which is a very good price actually. Yeah, for a market that is still small. Yeah, having a market of your own where you can just say I have two hundred rabbits. Yeah, let me supply them. Yeah. So an, another thing, I saw this this scale actually. This is a scale. Yeah. So actually, what what, what is the main use of of this of this scale? Yeah, I scale it in no shanti sagu ona guti maningi we we it zero zero. Uh, 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 yeah, she can, uh, 2.2 or 2.3 or 2.4 okay so uh -huh. so 2.2 2.3 those are like those are the market ways that yeah. is the way that you when the when your rabbits reach that weight yeah that is when you take them to the market yeah okay so so for someone who wants to start rabbit farming i believe we have given them everything yeah what, what else can they need they have the market yeah they have the place to yeah. get the cages yeah they have a place to get the rabbits, a place to get the nesting boxes. Actually, another important thing, the feeds. Yes, the feeds. Where was that's another expense thing that you have left. Because you need oh. the feeds. We have the rabbits, you have the cages, you also need the feeds. How 
how do, where do you obtain your fees and the cost of getting the fees that you give to your rabbits? What are you feeding them and how much are those fees? All right. Yeah. Tsuro, tsuro, you may check it as one, you know, 100 grams. Such calf. This calf, which are pellets. Yeah, my man, pellets. My rabbit ah, pellets. Then, Mark Sen in Chimuka. Yes. And you know, the pay. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay. So over there, as you can see, yeah. we have some hay there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because in the Kangutanga could spam a pellet to say there's no, there's no four foot. Yeah. Gout. Yeah. So, but the side, the Saga and did not buy a good Zimbo and a good gun. Domina cannot one hour thirty minutes. Those sorts of pama pellets. But can I ever never and a good I saw Oman? Yes. And the chai be hundred grams. Okay. And a cool oh, is a ganote two hundred grams. Two hundred grams. So you increase because it's, it's like cheating. Yeah. Okay. So in in the notion some are pellets in national foods in national foods because my, my pellets in national foods are not a good thing cool as a gun okay and now i'm going to run down on my money yeah oh, okay. and it's in my foot it's in on go it kappa at zero it's in the joke can i would you go shan some pellets in national foods i'll find rules or change okay can I walk to change? Unenge walk to Mira, a Suarez, a Huchazipima pellets, a Zora, a Huchazipima money pellets, which are the cleaner by a new one. Because I should do a sangan, eh? I should do a sangan, eh? Because Kashinji, because Kashinji Uka sangan some pellets, it's an offer. It's an offer. Sagando, in Indian, the notion is I were initial. Food. So how much, you know, say you get them from national food, right? Mm. One big, let's say, of rabbit pellets, mm. how much does it go for? Yeah, and did you know not a pellet in national food, and it? I know it's also easy, one big. Yes. It's at $25. $25, okay. I got it, and did you but in Muno, one bag in the Noguna Kurishan Sasha four days for Ningra pay for all these rabbits. Yeah, one bag four days. Yeah, one day, one bag four days. Yeah, but when this when they are increasing age, it doesn't need to just maybe to three days when they, let's say, yeah, yeah, because Pachakura are now, yes, yeah, as in it's no one can at work my three days. Three days. Yeah, okay. because in Nebuda, we would have this time. Okay, that's Yeah, to one day. Okay. But he chanted no down, go to the Jacuti, Tsura, and often an Neuk, when I made a good job. I made a good job. Tsura in not a good, not a good, but you got to miracle, miracle. Okay. Yeah. So, like, as you can see, if you have to come close. These rabbits, they are not even feeding. Yeah. They are resting. Yeah. Because one, one thing I saw again about rabbits, when they are hungry, they, yeah. they will be here looking at you. Yeah. They will every, every, they will be looking at you. Know, you just see that these rabbits, they need food. But if you are to come closer, you can see these rabbits, yeah. they are all, oh, they are resting. Yeah. Nothing, you know. You can see there is no problem, actually. So, uh, actually, another thing, this thing, do they, are they part of the cage when buying? Yeah. Or they are just part of the cage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to come close actually, so that I can show people. You know, the, they want I want you know, the cage actually. This actually they improved versions of this cage, but as you can see, this is a standardized cage, a metal cage. You know, this one is generational. Because yeah. Mister Anesu here can leave this cage for his children, and if 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 his children are taking good care of this cage, they can leave this cage for their you know for his grandkids. Yeah. So these things they are they are durable. That's one thing I love about this thing everything is just standard yeah and for feeding yeah we have this feeder so this is it guys i think they have everything they need yeah to start rabbit farming actually just to start they have everything besides the knowledge actually because you need you need to know how you are do how we are doing it so we are going to actually to show these people on another video with mr anis so then we are going to dive deep telling you guys how mr anis is managing his daily routine how he is feeding his rabbits how he is taking care of his kids from birth they are ready for market right so stick around guys in another video we'll be sharing with you, sharing with you guys how mr anis is doing his things 
in here in his rugby. So as you can see, we have a lot of rugby in here. Mr. Anes is doing a big job and he's making a lot of money. As I have told you guys, in here we have like 150 rugby at this moment, 150 rugby. And when they are, all these rabbits are ready for market, you know, this small space, 150 rabbits. And when all these rabbits are ready for market, guess how much he's going to make? More than a thousand dollars. So, Mr. Anis actually is making thousands of dollars. You know, you, you don't, you know, most people actually they have this mentality that going to work is the only way to make a living, Mr. Anis. But you can go to work and start things like this, you know, having a nine, five, nine to five job yeah. and also have your rabbit. Yeah. You, you know, these things, you know, it's very simple actually. And once people understand that there's a lot of money to be made in rabbit farming, they will come running. Because Mr. Anes here is making thousands of dollars from rabbit farming. You know, it's something simple, but you're feeding your family. So, rabbit farming is the future, guys. People are going to make money from rabbit farming. So, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and go and check out the other video that we are going to be talking about how